Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cyber Guy. So today we are going to try to gain access to a different machine, which will be our Medax rollable machine. Now, if you don't know how uh, to install Medax rollable, you can look up this URL and then click on it and learn how to download Medax rollable. Now, are you ready to know why it is very important to make sure that your system is secure buckle up and let's get started learn cyber security in no time so before we get started uh i want to share something with you so we got a great news so we really say new uh google chrome extension that allows you to turn web pages into audiobooks for example if you're a student you're a researcher so this can help you a lot you know uh because you may want to multitask so this will allow you to just listen uh to your website instead of just reading and taking note at the same time so to get the extension you can go to your google chrome and then uh visit the chrome web store and search for read out so readout is uh, powered by that cyber guy so you can just go ahead and just install it uh the features you know they are inside that video if you go to that page you can just go ahead and just you know see how the extension works so i'll probably you know try to turn this on and then uh fast forward it Let's see right here All right, so make sure that you give it a try and I'll put the uh, URL into the video description. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and start our terminal. We are going to use two terminals today because we are going to use one for our uh, to scan using Nmap and then the other one will be for the Medax bar. All right, let me just expand this a little bit. There we go. And then our target machine gonna be right here, Medax Rollable. All right, so uh, what we can do, we can just scan our Medax Rollable. So I already know uh, uh, the target machine, uh, IP address. So there are a lot of ways that you can just you know scan uh, the internet for IPs. Uh, so uh, let's just go ahead and just uh, Scan that Medax Rollable server and map that's ASV. Ten that zero that two that four and then hit enter. And then this will scan for services and versions. And then this is what we are going to use to go ahead and uh, exploit it with. Uh, our Medax, our Medax bar. So uh, while this is running, uh, what I can actually do, I can actually go ahead and then uh, see, say what is uh, MSF console. Uh, you can see that it's a Medax Pro, uh, Medax Pro uh, framework console. Now what we can actually do, we can just type MSF console and hit enter. While this is running, so we are our scan is complete right now. You see, we have a bunch of vulnerabilities. We have, you know, uh, Telnet with port 23 that is open. Uh, uh, but what we are going to do today, we are going to try to exploit FTP. All right. So uh, while this is running here, you can just, you know, go ahead and just see all the vulnerabilities. And if you know, uh, if you don't know why it is important to close unused or unnecessary port numbers make sure that you check out our uh playlist and videos you're gonna see we have a bunch of videos on port numbers etc so you can just go ahead and get started all right so our medax right is open right now a very nice interface and then what we can actually do here we can just uh, search for uh vsftpd all right, VSFTPD uh, uh, is a popular FTP uh, uh, server software. 
In this comment, search for vulnerabilities in 2VS FTPD. All right, let's search for search VS FTPD. I think I got it right. Oh, I put two, two F TPD or TPD and hit enter. Oh yeah, I think I make a typo. VSFTPD. There we go. All right. So as you can see here, from VSFTPD, we have uh, a couple. Uh, we have a couple uh, of exploit. There's one for denial of service attack. There's one for uh, uh, for FTP uh, for a backdoor. You know, a backdoor is. Uh, can be good or bad, you know, because sometimes developers they leave a bad door into a system so they can interact if they if there's an issue. But sometimes a bad door can be bad because you know uh, attackers can exploit them. So what we are going to to do today, we are going to use this one. Let's go ahead and just copy that, and I'm going to just select the entire thing right here, and then right click uh, copy selection, and then I'm going to type use. And then paste uh, selection. There we go. And I can hit enter. All right. So now I, what I can do, I can just you know show option. All right. As you can see here, uh, the book is in us. You know, some of them are already just on. But now you know, let's just you know uh, try to set the us to our target machine. Uh, let's try that. Okay, set our host to uh, the target machine. All right, and then now we can just you know set the payload. We are going to use the uh, CMD Unix interact, which is you know to interact with the shell of the target. You know, the, the shelf, you know, sometimes if you have access to a, to a machine, for example, if I were to go back to uh, my Melax variable, this is the, ma the target machine. If I if I type, you know, who, who am I? It's going to tell you, okay, you're the MSF admin because this is the username that I use. You know, this is my username for the users I'm just currently logging now. So now I'm trying to just get access to this to see if I can just... If I say who am I onto my Kali, which is you know the actual machine, to see if I, I'll be able to to uh, to access it. All right, from here, what we can actually do, we can actually you know set a payload, create a payload, uh, set payload. Uh, we can actually go back, you know, before we go back, let's let's go back to show options. Yeah, as you can see, our host now changed to ten dot zero dot two dot four because this is what we said. Now we can actually set the payload, set payload, or uh, payload, okay, CMD, Unix, and then interact. Hit enter. All right, let's just, see. let's see if I type, who am I? Yeah, I think there, there, there's something wrong right here. Let's just, you know, uh, try again because, you know, when I type, who am I? He say, oh, it's that cyber guy. So we're still not in, in, inside the, uh, the target machine. Uh, let me try again, set payload. Okay, CMD. CMD. Unix. Interact. Oh yeah, because you know we we said it, but we didn't exploit it. All right, now let's just go ahead and exploit it.
All right, so uh, let's just create and see who am I. No session was created. Okay, let's just say sudo set payload cmd unix and direct okay let me just enter my password Let's just exploit it again to see. Okay, found shell. Oi! See that we have an session now that is connecting. I think we are getting close. Okay, let's see who am I? I'm wood. All right, cool. So now let's see this. As you can see here, I have a bunch of thing here. Uh, okay, see, see the users. Let's see uh, users. Yeah. I have a lot of things going on here, as you can see. But man, yeah, very end. And then uh, uh, that's that's true. You know, uh, one thing that you have to understand is uh, many time in the like in the uh, sophisticated system, it probably you know it's probably gonna be more challenging to just get an access to a machine. But you know, the purpose of this video, this video is to show you that you know how easy it is. You know, an attacker. Can just get access into your system that's why it is very very important you know as a system system administrators you know to make sure that you know you clean up your system for example you have you, have, you know uh the version many times the attackers they they use automated scan or other scan to kind of you know look for us a version that i uh up to date and then uh for example unsupported services for example we have port 23 here and let it is long, longer supported and then it is still open so uh i hope this video helped you if you have any questions or concerns make sure that you put them into the comment section remember you know to always make sure that you have permission before you scan any system because you can get into big trouble don't forget to like subscribe and share until next time happy learning